Good morning, folks. Today we've got a rumble in the Atlantic. Reasons to reacquaint yourself with two of the top topics in the community and a bunch of weather, as always. We're going to kick off at spaceweathernews.com, finding a relatively calm star in the last day. But as she turns, you'll want to focus on the right side, where a plasma filament and sunspot are departing. Little destabilization yesterday. We're going to have to watch for it to go today. The flutter caused a minor C-class solar flare. It was nothing major, and the sunspots are decaying on the disk or heading to the right out of view. The solar wind, we're awaiting the next stream and dipping into calmer conditions as we do so. The next stream will be off this dark coronal hole here. You'll recall on Twitter two days ago, the earthquake watch was supposed to begin that night. However, the coronal hole split off the leading opening, as you heard in yesterday's news. You can see the split systems in our disaster app detector. On the scoring, you can see the rise, a brief drop as the coronal hole split, and then it went back up. We said it delayed the earthquake watch about 24 to 36 hours. In reality, it was only about 20 hours later when a seven-pointer struck relatively harmlessly in the middle of the Atlantic. Despite almost perfect timing, forecasting this magnitude at this location could not have been accomplished. Hoping to move to Europa for some alien squid fishing? You better take some thick socks. Temperature is well under 100 below zero Fahrenheit at the equator. Then we've got this. NASA's Dr. Phillips is doing cosmic ray experiments with high-altitude balloons and reporting on his blog site. Cosmic rays are surging. The relevance comes as space weather changes herald different concerns for human health, especially in deadly cardiac events. And this is being exacerbated by the fact that Earth's magnetic shield, our protection from that energy, is fading. If that sounds new to you, our new, most watched free website has become earthchanges.org. Everything you'd want to know is right there. And in terms of human health, website members, premium, scroll down past the four primary sections to the humans and EM section, all about the effects of these energies on your heart, your brain, your mood, and the rest of your body. No time to waste as we dance into the tropics. With the sun being calm, the track will bend northeast. If we do get space weather, watch for a shift west. Other system going to begin eyeing the coastline tonight, so keep your focus there. We're also still watching twin Earth spots moving towards Hawaii slowly but surely in the Pacific. This was the scene in Cincinnati last night. Heavy downpours caused flash flooding while a gorgeous tornado came down further northwest in Minnesota. Tall and skinny one there. Flooding is pounding Nigeria as well as Lagos is underwater, and in Russia, a mega lightning storm struck a pack of reindeer and killed hundreds within just a small area. Remember folks, that's the humans and EM section of suspiciousobservers.org for the health effects of space weather. More on the hurricane forecast track with solar activity can be heard in Saturday's podcast, and if you haven't been to earthchanges.org yet, what in the world are you waiting for? It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.